Hi friends, this is Amol Bhoyer from Vidisha Infotech. In this video, we will be covering a new topic that is Java programming. So let's get started with the Java programming. First of all, we will be do, doing the installation for which I have already downloaded the software and the software will be available at go in the search box and type the google search engine then here you have to type java sdk download sorry jdk download and here it is the download soft website is available here you can directly click on JDK download and you will be redirected to the Java download page now here you have to download Java standard edition development kit 16.0.2 and here you have to choose the operating system which you are using I am using Windows X64 installer and I will click on the download button and after clicking the download button it gets downloaded here it is the software is downloaded now for that I need to install for installation I will double click on it So it has something different here. Oh sorry, I wrongly click some other web page. So here it is. And I have to just to follow the instructions. close this after the installation is complete we have to set the class path for java that can be done using the following methods which I will be discussing with you after the installation of Java program here we have some disturbance over here so I request you to neglect it here I will close it now I will be opening the command prompt that is cmd in the search bar and will open the command prompt but before this I need to set something and that is the environment variables or we can say path for java program to run Here is in program files Java JDK and bin. So this is my path that is Java path. So I'll be copying it. click on the properties and from here I'll be going to the advanced system settings and in the advanced system settings I'll be going in the environment variables 
now here I will search for the path but here what is there the path for Java program is already given but it is not for the JDK we have installed so for that we have to give the name we have to set new and we have to just paste it and ok again we have to follow the instructions here also and we can now close this window we can close this also as we have done the work now I will be opening the command prompt and here I will type J -A -B -A -C. and so yes the Java program is running here for the Java version I will do minus P and here it is not showing me the version So that we will see in the later later part. So after this, we have successfully installed Java program and set up the path for running Java program. So now let's see. Come to the theory lectures. So this is the first online training video for Java programming. Introduction of the course has been done. Downloading and installation of Java software is also done. Setting environment variables and path and class path we will see afterwards. Now coming to the introduction of Java. Its history when introduced and how then the java virtual machine garbage collector gre environment java virtual machine machine task then class loader bytecode verifier and finally we will write an executable java program and i will explain how to run it how to save it and what is the writing structure of a Java simple Java program so now the question what is Java Java is a class based object oriented programming language and is designed to have a few implementation dependencies as possible a general purpose programming language made for developers to write once run anywhere that is compiled Java code can run all the platforms that supports Java Java applications are compiled to byte code that can run on any Java virtual machine now the byte code is a very important factor as it is available in all the computer system the syntax of Java is similar as to C and C++ programming now we will be coming to the history of Java Java was developed by James Gosling at Sun Microsystem INC in the year 1991 since we can say Java was born on 1991 at Sun Microsystems and developed by James Gosling. Later on, it was acquired by Oracle Corporation. So it merged with the Oracle Corporation. It is a simple programming language. Java makes writing, compiling and debugging program easy. It helps to create reusable code and modular programs. So now, first it was the birth of Java was on 1991. 
then James Gosling in 1995 developed Java who is known as the father of Java currently Java is used in mobile devices internet programming games e business suits and there are many things where Java is compulsory now then James Gosling Mike Sheridan and Patrick Naughton a team of sun engineers known as the green team initiated the java language in 1991 sun microsystem released the first public implementation in 1996 since all these three worked founded the java in 1991 then made the researches and then finally they implemented it on 1996 the first version was known as 1.0 it was known as 1.0 compiler and after that it was rewritten in java by arthur van hoff to strictly compile with its specification with the arrival of java 2 New version has multiple configuration builds for different types of plot platforms. We can say that the different types of platforms were Linux, then it was Solaris, and it was Windows XP, Windows NT, and we can say also server was there. On November thirteen, two thousand six. Sun released much of its Java virtual machine as free. Then they released the JVM as a free component so that it can be very easy for the other users to access it. Now the latest version of Java development kit is JDK is sixteen point zero point. This is the very latest version, and it includes the JRE also. You don't require to install JRE separately, as in till Windows is uh, sorry, Java ten release JRE was compulsory, but now JRE is not compulsory. now we will come to the features that is the java virtual machine this is referred as to jvm there are three execution phases of a program they are written compiled and run the program there is some problem there there was some update Writing a program is done by a Java programmer like you and me. The compilation is done by the Java compiler which is a primary Java compiler included in the Java development kit. It takes Java programming as input and generate bytecodes as output. Now I told you bytecode is present in all the computer systems. so that it makes easy for a java program to run anywhere in the runtime phase of a java program java virtual machine executes the byte code generated by the compiler now here the compiler generates the byte code now we understood that the function of jvm machine is to execute the byte code produced by the compiler every operating system has a different java virtual machine but the input they produce after the execution of the bytecode is the same across all the operating system there is no changes in the java virtual machine output so that is why is known as a platform independent language 
we can say in other words it is a platform independent language now bytecode in the development process as discussed the JDK Java compiler of JDK compiles the Java source code into bytecodes so that it can be executed by the Java virtual machine it is saved as a dot class file whenever I will be executing a Java code with the file name I will be it will be creating a class file that consists of the byte codes and by the compiler to view the byte code a disassembler like Java P can be used we can use the program java p now what is a jdk jdk is nothing but java development kit while we are using the term jdk when we learn about the bytecode and java virtual machine so as the name suggests it is a complete java development kit that includes everything including the compiler java runtime environment java debuggers java docs etc nowadays we have got a latest gui named ellipse it is used in the industrial market as much as possible since it has made the geo environment friendly with its usage and tools which it has as per in the command prompt or java programming there are very less opportunities of getting some errors if we got some so that is it it debugs for the program to execute in java when need to install jdk we need to install jdk that we have already done in our computer in order to create compile and run a java program this we have already done now what is jre i have told you about the class path now what is a class path class path is nothing but a just like a path it has the information of the class directory where the class files are located so jdk includes jre jre installation on the computers allow the java programmer to run however we cannot compile it jre includes a browser that is jvm applet support and plugins for running the java program a computer needs jre so java runtime environment is essential for running a java program and in us our case the jdk jre is already inbuilt the JD, jdk so now coming to the main point that is garbage collector it plays a very important role in java program programmers can't delete the objects to delete or recollect the memory jvm has a program called garbage collector it is not like that that we have just created a program executed a program and we press the delete button and uh, it goes to the recycle bin the program or the class file remains in the temporary files in the memory of java virtual machine so garbage collect can collector can recollect the of objects that are not referenced so java makes the life of a programmer easy by handling memory management however programmers should be careful about these codes when they are using objects 
that have been used for a long time because garbage cannot recover the memory of the program being referenced of the or the object being referenced so then we come to the class part as i have explained it the class part in the file that where the java runtime and java compiler looks for the class file it searches for the class file to load by default provides provided by many gallery sorry many libraries if you want to include external libraries they should be added to the class part now we have we are suppose we are doing some project and we want some extra files to be added so it can be done using the class path libraries the links and how to set up the class path path is given in the description of the video you can have a look at it and if you want to register this course you can fill the online form so let's not waste more time and again i will start the here we will do in the practicals we will be doing a practical or we will be writing a program that runs that prints a simple hello world and now in this we will be also discussing about what is the structure of a java program so here i will open a notepad editor let us save this one and here i will take a new editor yeah now we will be writing a first java program for that we require a class file now it is one of the most important thing in java programming class what we are doing here hello what now here it is open and closed by curly braces the programming structure is opened by curly braces and closed by curly braces so here it is public static void this is the main structure of a java program without this we cannot execute or any of the java programming so this is required and after this the main coding takes place we will be discussing about the classes in the further videos which will be coming after 3 4 training videos and it will be very fun to learn classes because classes are very vast so here now what i have to do is i have to print a hello world that is two letters or we can say two words so for that system 
dot out dot print ln it helps an object to be print this is a method for printing anything in java program so here i will say hello and here is my program completed my first program has been completed i have created a first java program and i will save this one now here comes one of the most important part while saving i have to save the file name as my class file that is hello world and here after this i have also to provide the extension java but here it is given as txt this i will have to change and i have have to convert it to all the program all files and then we'll click on the save button so my program is ready and is going to be executable for executing a program in java what i have to do first i have to compile it java hello world dot java and I will press enter now here I am getting an error message that the hello world dot java file is not found that is error file not found hello world dot java for this error I will have to change the class path the path of my program I will have to give the path where I have saved this file. So for the path I will have to search where the file was saved by me so here it is the file is saved in the documents here I will be executing the same program java hello world dot java again it is showing some errors I am not getting it what is the error There is some mistake. If I am not wrong, there is some.
some mistake in the program hello world the program is all right why i don't know it's not executing so what i will do is this and I will put it in the new folder name Java finish sorry and delete it know what is the issue here but we will compile the program just give me some seconds So here is the program which is executed successfully. Now for verifying this what I will have to do is I will have to go to the desktop file and here I have got a class file created. The class file has been created. Now it is a executable file. It has become an executable file. So here I will open it. I will open it by notepad. So here is the binary language that is bytecode language which only the computer understands and it will give me this output that is hello world 
this output it will be giving me so get ready for the output I'm closing this all yeah it is for giving the output we just have to see java and have to compile the java file name that is hello world and nothing else here it is the class file has given me the output hello world so with this i concludes this lecture hope you would have understood this training video and if there is any doubt you can just comment me and